Hello, welcome to Jory Giant Fedge. It's been absolutely beautiful the weather lately. As you can tell, as you're probably well aware if you're from the UK, um, the sunshine has been glorious here. I've been trying to get bits and bobs done. I've even got myself a nice blister. Um, just cracking on. Got loads more weeding to do, but I'll eventually I'll get there. I'm just going to show you what's went on really. Uh, as you can remember if you've seen me other videos, I made some trenches. Um, and I've basically built a frame around them now and I've put a cover on and surrounded it with the mesh if you're wondering why it's so small um, it's because I believe you're only allowed a certain amount of the structures on your your allotments so this one's only about four foot tall so it's not going to be classed as a structure it's just like a cool frame and um, so I can't get wrong off any um, committees or what have you I just don't want to piss people off uh, I've planted out some of the leeks each side I have six of the Joe McKenzie um, Cumbrian leeks and I've got a few of the giant onions there just sitting there I've got a couple of Yorkshire giant leeks I'm going to be planting out in this part but not at the moment I've getting all this rotivated and I'm just waiting for some chicken manure pellets to come this is going to be I'm going to have the pumpkin starting over here guiding it through and probably set a pumpkin here up here is going to be mainly for marrows as you can see I've getting all the hoops done on my uh, polytunnel I've just today ordered the cover for that so it's on its way I need to get the door in I need to get it all all the mesh as you can see I need to get the sides meshed and get it all ready for the cover to go on. I've got the two posts there sitting against the fence there, going to be either side of the door. I need to get a couple of bags of uh, post creep for them bad boys. Uh, this, I'm going to be having some cabbages in here, some red cabbages and some kohlrabi. Uh, the kohlrabi is nothing special, but I might grow for two years um, and see what I end up with at the end of the second year. Something big, hopefully. I've rotivated all this, like I said, and I've taken out as much as the greenage and um, a lot of mare's tail. I've still got a lot more to rotivate. I've done uh, a lot of hoeing down here, as you can see, all the, the plants are starting to die there. This is all going to be chicken manured and rotivated as well, and I'm going to be growing a giant pumpkin down this section, or a uh, squash, but I'm still waiting for the squash to germinate. Um, two seconds, I'll just turn this radio off. The giant carrots and parsnips seem to be doing really well. There's a lot of new growth since I've planted them. Um, I've given them a nice water today. And I've filled the this end, um, giant air pot. Sorry, I'm getting my words mixed up. And I've planted out four of the condo potatoes there and there now. So I'm hoping come short time when I open this up there's going to be a big fat ugly horrible tomato uh, potato in there not tomato and the it'll be a little way somewhere of 10 10 to 12 pounds or what have you I'd love one like that Um, I've never grown them before so I'm looking forward to seeing how they turn out the three parsnips in there are doing pretty well I don't know what they're going to turn out like Um, it's just an experiment putting three in together this uh, giant parsnip here is really flying along now, sticking out new um, foliage all the time. The carrots are doing alright as well, they were a bit spindly but now they're starting to get some top to them, which hopefully means bigger bottom. Nine of the giant onions planted out in the air pots there, and all the, the sweet candle have germinated so once they get established a little bit better I'm gonna ha hand select them and just so there's just one carrot in each little bay as you can see there's three or four here I'll just pinch them out so there's only one in each uh, bay so I'll be growing like six in each pot the parsnips have germinated in here as you can see and parsnips are renowned for bad germination but um they're from Medwin Williams, the parsnips, and I believe they're very, uh, they're fresh, fresh as it can come, really, and that's important as far as parsnips are concerned. Some of the long uh, carrots have germinated in the tall air pot. 
So, I'd love a carrot to go right from the top to the bottom. And they're going to show and do well. But yeah, they, they, I mean, this is just basically fun. I'm going to be eating... 90% of this I think unless I get a couple of perlers which I can put into a shows for quality quality is not really my thing but I'm just trying it with these carrots because they're pretty the low maintenance really once once they're in just a, a little bit of feeding and watering so that's it in this polytunnel them onions seem to have got the feet in all right I know it's a bit warm in here I really must try and get a fan sorted out a, um, a solar fan I've started getting this marrow bed ready. I've emptied out all the old buckets of compost and I've cleared this little bit. I've got the rest to clear um, and then I get all that chicken manure pelleted too and rotivated in. Um, should, should be great for the marrows. Uh, there, there, the strawberries, they all need tidying up. I've got another bed here which I I did weed it a couple of weeks ago and they're all springing back but that one needs weeding again, rotivating, putting some sides on. This one all needs sorting out as well. Still got onions in there, sorry about the wind, still got onions in there from last year. So all that needs pulling out and digging over. I've got a load of leaks which are going to be going in there when I get the cover sorted on top as well. I'm going to be feeding the leaks. Um, I'm getting some of these Yorkshire Giant leaks put, uh, potted. Uh, planted sorry in here and some more giant onions but as you can see they're a bit windswept should we say and absolutely took a battering so I really need to get sides on this but the leeks should do all right in here the the Yorkshire giant variety but I've grown them as an experiment really long I'll show you some more I've got in this greenhouse okay so the Yorkshire giant leek you only want it as low as you can get it really, down to the button uh, before planting out. But it grows a very big leak. So what I've decided to do is, I've kept some behind and I've kept them long. So the, to, from the, the base to the button is really high. What does that say in there? Yeah, Yorkshire Giant, long. So I've tried to keep them as long as possible. Um, and plant them out for to see if I can get some really big heavyweight leeks. I've got a dozen in here. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yeah. I've got a dozen in here and they're going to be going in the auto pot system. I'll have a dozen Cumbrian leeks which are going to go in the auto pot system and a dozen giant onions which are going to be going in a big um, 36 pot system in that new polytunnel. Um, I'm really got to get that done. That's what's basically holding us behind. I've got a lot of work to get done with that. But once I've got the cover on and the doors on and what have you, I'm flying really. Uh, I get everything. I mean, the marrows, uh, they're all germinated. They're all popping through. I'll put a picture on the end of the video so you can see how the marrows are getting on and a couple of pumpkins. Squash still hasn't shown its face yet. So I don't know if I'm going to be growing a squash this year. I will have a look amongst my seeds and see if I've got another squash if I have I'll, I'm going to chit that tonight and get it um, and get it planted in as soon as possible so I can try and catch up and maybe have a go at growing a big squash um, that's pretty much it really I've got an area around the corner um, what I was going to plant the, the giant parsnips and carrots out in I even dug the holes ready, well some of the holes, I started, started digging the holes and I changed my mind. So, with us having quite a bit of, like a few uh, marrow plants, I'm thinking of growing a, a pumpkin down here in this section and starting a marrow plant here in like maybe he's growing it around the corner or starting it in the far corner and growing it in this patch here. Um, just because I've got the space and I want to grow as many as possible. Um, the Ben, even though he's two, but I'm going to grow one for him and um, for him to have a bit of fun with and come down and water his own marrow plant and stuff like that. See all the hogweed needs digging out. But I mean, it won't take long, it took us five minutes just to do that little bit before. And um, once we check them in your pellets come, this will all be getting cleared, fertilized, and uh, rotivated. 
the that was the stand I had for the the big um, flexi tank which was slashed because I, I did have it as a drip of feeder which was feeding the marrows last year so I'm going to take that out I'm just going to water by hand I might get um, a timer involved with sprinklers but now I've got plenty more time on my hands I'm I'm down here basically every day or every other day so I'm I'm really not needing to get any systems involved as far as that's concerned uh, this year I did last year I've cleared a load of the rhubarb today because it's all going to seed so I believe you you cut all these seed heads off and sling them and then your, your rhubarb should be clear after that but it, it keeps throwing seed heads up it's probably it might need digging out and splitting up or what have you I've got another one over there which seems fine and um, all this area needs cleared of the black plastic I don't know what to grow here um, I've got some space there this is where we normally have a fire all the junk and stuff like that so I was supposed to be growing flowers in this bit but I'm just going to keep it as like a little uh, area for fires and what have you but yeah um, the polytunnel as you can see the hoops the hoops need iron in a bit they all need securing um, I've got some lats over there which will help secure like I did with this one but yeah that's it basically what's going on I've, I've tried to get as many leaks and stuff out as I can temperatures are ridiculous um, I've kept some stuff at home where I can keep fans on them to try and keep them cool um, and so they're not drying out while I'm like busy doing stuff because things can and will always go to seed if they dry out which I'm pretty sure if we have weather like this all year again there's going to be a lot of people's stuff going to seed um, this year without a doubt but there's some very big onions about as well which I've noticed which is brilliant fantastic to see um, I haven't really focused on onions this year I haven't focused on anything in particular I want I want to nail a marrow I want to get over my 100 pound target uh, three years I've been growing marrow so 89 pounds the closest I've come and I've only grown like the maximum of three plants so I've got a few more tricks up my sleeve this year for to hopefully achieve something bigger a lot bigger and um, which will be going to a show I'll have a couple of chances anyway I'll be growing about six plants this year instead of three so I'm doubling my chances straight away uh, that's about it really for the moment I've got shit loads to do but it all takes time so yeah thanks for watching See you again on the next one.